Hey everybody, got a lot of questions about what kind of AR-15 setup I'm running. So, just wanted to make this video to answer some of your questions. <laughs> so I'm running a Mega Arms upper and lower 14 and a half inch BCM barrel, uh, pencil barrel with uh, extended BCM compensator. I think it's the 1.5 inch, um, I wanna say it's yeah, the Battle comp, but so I've been running this rifle for about uh, seven, eight years. It's really nothing special. I like the billet upper and lower. It's got some. Uh, it's not forged, so it's got some nice machining to it. Got some nice cutouts in the front here. It's large magwell, built-in uh, finger guard. I'm also running a BCM, one of the earlier BCM grips. Can't remember what mod it is with the battery compartment in the bottom. And here right now I've got a battery in there with some some little foamies to foam to protect it, keep it from rattling around. It's got a uh, <clears throat> nickel boron coated bulk carrier group from Surplus Arms over here in Tacoma, Washington. Also, Mega Arms is a local. Well, it's a local company here in Washington. I believe they got bought out or moved to uh, or changed the name to Zevtech and they stopped doing AR 15s. Uh, also, I've got a BCM grip, one of the earlier models. I think now they've changed a little bit, but um, as you can see, it's the angle fore grip. You can mount it frontwards or backwards, depending on which way you want to hold. Whatever feels good to me, it feels better kind of at a <clears throat> angle going towards the front of the pistol. It kind of gives you a nice grip here. Gives you a nice like C clamp. And everyone talks about the C clamp. I'm running a Surefire Scout. I think the Mini M300 Scout with the <clears throat> pressure plate. Also got a constant switch, which is nice. You can either run momentarily or constant um, changed up the mount a little bit I believe it's a Arisaka side mount where it's not on directly on the side of the rail but more 45 degrees to actually run that I had to cut off one of the nubs for the Magpul and bus site so if you look you'll see this side still has the flip but the other side's cut out so I can keep the light behind the comp here. Um, the comp does blow a lot of gas out to the sides and top so if I had this light up closer and you know get a lot of dust on it. <clears throat> also I have a uh, flame retardant handguard shield here. Since it is a pencil it does get really hot. Um, it's a super lightweight build so it does get a lot of heat coming off of here. Um, I forget the name of this. I can link it in the description. Down below. Also running a Magpul uh, sling, sling clip here. I generally run a single point sling with the QD mount in the rear, but the, uh, run, the, the old Magpul style has the clip that you can unclip and I can put it here to run, um, you know, two point sling, have it thrown on my back or, you know, not have it so close to my body. So this aim point, it's an old, still, it's old, still very good. T1, two MOA red dot with uh, night vision settings up to 12 brightness. Uh, with the American Defense mount on the bottom, Magpul flip up rear sight. Um, the, well, got the also Magpul 45 degree ambidextrous safety. You can see it clearly there, but you can tell one lever, you can see one lever is longer than the other, so primarily running it right hand, but if I also run it left handed, I can flip it down and flip it up using that hand there. Same with the charging handles, or Raptor, or Rainier Arms by... AXTS. 
So this gun is super light. Uh, I've taken my son out shooting with it and it's light, easy enough for him to hold and get good. Um, be able to shoulder it, you know, have it up, not tire him out for the day, whatnot. How much is it? Oh, how much was it? Um, I can't remember. So I got, yeah, bought it. I would, if I had to guess altogether, I'd say this build or this uh, was probably about, say like 1200 without the optics. The optics are gonna be expensive. This, I think the optic back then was about 450 or so, but I think now it's it's gone up a lot quite a bit because of inflation and supply and demand and uh, everything else. Um, and I think the, the hangar that I have here is B uh, one of the, yeah, the early model BCM key mod. Um, I think it's the aluminum magnesium. So it's super lightweight, super strong. And I'm not sure, one of my buddies told me they're not making these anymore. I don't know if it's the, the, the material is hard to source. Or whatnot. Um, oh, another thing, being 14 and a half inch barrel, the compensator is uh, pinned and welded, so it doesn't move. Um, can't replace it, but you know this gets the job done uh, and uh, shoots really flat. So post some videos of it shooting it next time we get out to the range. Um, oh, to the back. The back is just a basic, I think a B5 SOP mod, butt stock, um, like six positions, it's really simple. Um, the buffer inside, I think I am running, I can't remember, I think I'm running a heavier buffer. Uh, inside, I think just to get the cycle a little more reliable. I can't remember, it's been a long time. And the uh, Mega Arm is cool because it actually had the like the uh, like the Atomic logo on it, which was nice. At least a nice little feature on there. Um, trigger. The trigger assembly is just a basic Geisley, uh, I think the ALG mil spec. So it's got no creep, just. Um, you know, it's tight, it's probably about like a six pound, maybe more pull, but yeah, it's a mil spec trigger. The one I shoot, it, it goes. There's no creep on it, there's no special stain. Resets solid, and it just, um, you pull it back, it goes bang, you know it's gonna shoot. That's it here, signing off, see you next time.